Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. This video was inspired by the Austin McConnell series of useless information. Not all of this is useless, some of it is interesting, but generally not interesting enough for a whole video. Let's get into it. The Poppy Wiki has 1018 pages. Poppy performed at VidCon in 2012. Poppy has two separate Bandcamp pages, one being for music to read to and the other featuring Adored and music to sleep to. I Disagree is the only Poppy album that Pitchfork has reviewed. The only thing available on the PopXMI website is a web store variant of Poppy's Inferno. She has never won an award for her music, only for being her character or herself. Poppy has 28,000 followers on SoundCloud. There are three official versions of Low Life, the original, the version featuring Travis Mills, and the Slushy remix. There's 118 references on her Wikipedia page as of recording this. The duration of the song that won the Grammy over Poppy's Blood Money is 4 minutes and 6 seconds. Brandon Burtis plays the devil in the Low Life music video. And there's also a cameo from Matt Bennett. Poppy was part of a roller derby team and went by the name Mini Bloodbath. Music to Read To is the only Poppy album to not be released on vinyl and not have a physical release of any kind. Poppy has a Tumblr account but it is password protected. May 12 is the date poppy.church was registered as a website. There were 536 days between the upload of I'm Poppy, the video, and the creation of her Wikipedia page by The Fat Jamok. Choke is the only EP to be released on cassette, and A Very Poppy Christmas is the only EP to be released on vinyl. Everything after Bubble Bath is on a separate Spotify artist page. Speaking of Spotify, Girls in Bikinis has 31 million streams as of writing this. Music to Read To is the highest prized item on her Discogs right now. Discogs is a website where people sell musical items, vinyls, CDs, anything, like eBay for music. Poppy channel URL is UCHJE00XTMBOQKS700GRFTFQ, and using this is the only way it can be accessed via the Wayback Machine as forward slash that poppy tv is blocked. According to Discogs, there are 19 releases on I Am Poppy Records, with the latest currently being voicemail. 49,317 people get alerts for Poppy Tour updates on Songkick. A copy of the Gospel of Poppy was listed for $342.46 in Australian dollars and cents, and sold for the best offer. Poppy once live streamed playing Fortnite, and it's the only game she's ever streamed so far. Her account name on Discord is Germ. The r slash that underscore Poppy subreddit was created 289 days after the release of the I'm Poppy video. This is the dog is listed as a single on Poppy's YouTube channel, presumably by a fan. It's also one other obvious non-single, but thought I would mention this is a dog and it's just the audio from the video. Most Poppy character videos were shot with a black magic pocket cinema camera as alluded to by Tate Sinclair in a recent podcast. PewDiePie's video about Poppy has 19 million views. Every Poppy music video has over a million views. Poppy.computer is the only studio album with an odd number of tracks and the only one with a prime number of songs. Poppy has made 23 makeup videos as of writing this, which I believe is now out of date as this goes out. Rin Rin Doll made a video with Poppy released on August 2, 2017. As of writing this, seven videos on Poppy's channel were made for VR. I'm Poppy, the series, has 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. Poppy's first YouTube community post was Smote the Tour for Am I a Girl. One of the background videos for the audio of the I Disagree tracks is from 
anything like me. Poppy's videos have their own IMDB series entry with over 100 episodes. The duration of the only episode of I Am Poppy is 23 minutes and 45 seconds, which is coincidentally 2345. The person who did the infamous Beautycon interview with Poppy is Ashley Kelly. Poppy can be seen in a deleted video doing an interview with Radio Disney, among other companies or interviews. But the interview is currently lost. Poppy's cover of Kids with Hey Hi Hello has been copyright claimed and is no longer viewable on YouTube, presumably claimed by Poppy herself. According to old footage, Poppy filmed more than at least two videos in a bathtub. Both original titles have Tub Can't Handle Me, which may indicate it was a series with that name. Poppy.Church supposedly had 60,000 members. Speaking of Poppy.Church, it still displays a goodbye message when you go to the site and you can still start your final ascension. Before I'm Poppy.com, Poppy had ThatPoppy.com. Both A Very Poppy Christmas and the I Disagree More vinyls have misprints. 463 votes is the top post on the Poppy Reddit. It's about music taste. And last but not least, Azula recorded Poppy's It Ain't Me Babe cover and the video is actually entitled on Azulu's YouTube channel, Window. I wish I had more interesting and potentially obscure poppy facts, but that's it for this video. Let me know, what's your favorite obscure poppy fact in the comment section below? Maybe I missed something that's interesting, or maybe there's something interesting that I haven't made a video about that you would like to share with me. Of course, there's a whole bunch of other things that I could mention, but I just wanted to make a little video like this because it just seemed like the right thing to do. Also, I don't know if there'll be a Mars Argo version. Also, let me know in the comment section below if since writing or recording this, is any of this information out of date? Because this will kind of be a bit of a time capsule, I suppose, because you'll see how things currently stand or stood when I wrote this. Interesting to see how things change. Because I made a video once called 10 Things You May Not Know About That Poppy and things have definitely changed since then. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon for more. Peace.